Chapter 3, Vassal Urban Warfare. Welcome back to Valkyria Warfare. This is Chapter 3, Vassal Urban Warfare, apparently. It's also summons. I don't know what the summons is. Is that always there or is that different? No. Rescue, summons, I guess that's the, the battle name, maybe? Who knows? We have a billion cutscenes to watch, so bu <laughs> buckle? I almost said bucket. Bucket in! Get in your buckets and prepare to watch a billion cutscenes, apparently. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welcome? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo what And did you just say beetle? Uh... Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. 
Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Followed you? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Hmm. Develop new weaponry, train units. Choose the members of Squad 7 who will fight in combat. I feel there's some tutorialization that's going to be occurring here shortly, but I need to figure this crap out, so. Level 1, level 1, level 1. Rosie, who's apparently named Bridget Stark, and Largo Potter. And welcome to Tank Man. So, likes Alicia Juno Audrey. Oh, good lord. Likes Rosie, likes Largo, Cherry, Hans, Jane. So many things going on, good heavens. Neither of these two have any AP, apparently. Shock Trooper, Lancer. Interesting. Okay, well, there's nothing that can do there for now, as far as I'm aware, so let's go to the next one on the list, which is Command Room. I guess. I don't know. Seems logical. Just go down the list here. Is it gonna... It's good Oop. to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Thank you. This is the Command Room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. Thank you, again. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. They seem to be fairly competent at taking them out, so... Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. Those, however, do a lot of damage, they I'll offer admit. excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. 
I imagine still hitting it in the back They're is also well good. Shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. How convenient. I imagine we're going to need at least a couple of every class here. Weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Hmm. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunition. Ooh, here we go. Treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. So, Lancer plus Engineer combo would probably be pretty good. They can place sandbags Ooh. for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Why? What? I'm curious about the repair towers bit, but can place Their sandbags? That's pretty convenient. Are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. So scout plus sniper, engineer plus lancer. And then... And you can swap units at any time. 20. Okay, and then just shock troopers can go it alone without any problem. Oh lord. So Melville and Ted like each other, they're both scouts. Fancies men, fancies women. Metal allergy. Shaddy Cathy, Desert Allergy, Trooper Killer. Oh my word, there's choices galore. You like Alicia. We already have an Alicia. Um, Country Bread, Bad Back. Hmm. Camaraderie. I don't know what bad, I don't know what any of this stuff does. Hold on, potential info. Oh, here we go. Bending over to crowds put a strain, causing a drop in defense. That's bad. Raising accuracy. Raising evasion. So pretty much she's good in almost every instance. Or he or it. Ted, it's probably a he. Um deal with it. Because fancies men and fancies woman, so no matter who they're standing next to, they'll have better accuracy. I don't know what this, if this metal allergy thing is bad. What about you? Desert allergy? That's kind of an issue, probably. Best, any shock trooper grants a boost in attack abilities. And lowers accuracy. What are these likes, though? Does it tell me? No. I don't know what likes do. We'll take Ted. Why not? Thank you, Seems alright. I'm Ted Usinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Hooray! What is this new material to speak of? So we've got two scouts. We probably need a lot of scouts. Fancy's Ben, Shaddy Cathy, Child of Nature. So, Paved Roads is bad. Likes Ted, though. And Rosie. We have two of those. Fancy's Men, Shaddy Cathy. Mm. Attack power is lowered against shock troopers. That could be an issue. Although, being closer to friends, I presume that's the likes system there. We don't have any friends. Let's get... I don't... There's, there's five classes and 20 slots, so let's get four of each, I guess. Meadowbred's probably standing in grass, yeah spaces like trenches I don't know how often we're gonna have someone have people in trenches so let's take him I'm Hermes Kissinger with me Kissinger. here your squad will get twice the girls I don't know how that works but okay so that's three scouts and it looks like it's not counting Wilkins in that it is counting Alicia but not Wilkins so, two more scouts. This is going to be a long set, I think. Neat Freak, Chatty Cathy. 
desert bread. There's really nothing bad about her, so I'm Frieza, you're go for handsome. it. I know you'll take real good care of me. Okay. And one more scout. I think. Yeah. Child nature fancies men. The chatty Kathy thing seems like it might be an issue. Is that only for friends? Close friend is nearby. She likes Rosie and Ted. That's two friends. That lowers accuracy? Yeah. Pollen allergy? Sending you too much plant life. That might be an issue, I have a feeling. You know what? We'll take Nos. I just I have to remember not to crouch too often. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Straight to the point. And now onto shock troopers! There's an old man. Uh, let's see. Neat Freak Scout Killer Night Vision. That's a problem. However, those two seem really good. Neat Freak is a problem, though. I think we're always going to have dirt somewhere. Uh, of course, the old guy has a bad back. I suppose that's a logical thing. Do some defense. Lancer Killer. Could be handy. Don't stand on roads, metalhead, shut in. Hmm. What does that mean exactly? That would mean being near a tank or something would be good. Let's take Wendy. Doesn't like anyone, that's a thing. I'm Wendy Chesslock. <laughs> Kaboom. Alright, she's insane. That's good to know. Panicky. Hmm. Considering how often we're going to be charging into the enemy, I think having someone who's panicky is a problem. This desert allergy is also probably a pro problem. He's got some good stats, though. I think. I'll take Salinas. Salinas Milton, at your service. Nothing fancy to say. What do we have for how many do we have? Three. Try adding members. Okay. So I have to fill it out anyway. So it's three shop troopers. Let's get two more. Hopefully that isn't panicky. Frail body, that sounds bad. Less than half full AP makes them feel totally exhausted. Hmm. Sadly, we have two people who are panicky. Lonely. What, are you, what is that? Decreased evasion. Well, to be honest, Eddie's not bad, apart from the whole panicky bit. I have to work around the panicky I'm bit. Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Not with that voice, we won't. That puts us at four. I don't know if I should be doing it in the, like this, but, you know. Vice isn't bad. We'll get advice for the last one. The name's Vice Engelbart. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. I don't know if wars have teeth, really. And a bunch of lancers. There's only two snipers, so. Pollen allergy and lone wolf. I think pollen allergy might be a problem, considering it's a sniper, but. Oscar seems like a good choice, so we're definitely taking Oscar. I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. You're welcome. I don't think we're gonna take Marina right now, so let's look through the rest here. Pollen allergy, fancies men. Okay. 
Night Blind. It's pessimist. You got some sweet sunglasses for a dude with night vision. Lesson defense for half full HP. Eh, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I'm not going to remember any of these things, and then when it comes to combat, I'm going to be like, who are all these people? Metal allergy for a lancer. Hmm. Darkson hater, I think that might be a minor problem. Neat freak scout hater. None of the freaking lancers seem to be any decent. Let's get Hector. Why not? My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. There's so many people. We have six open slots. Let's look at some of the engineers here. Neat freak, frail body, lonely. Good lord. Fatalist. Hmm. Okay, that's not really a thing that'll probably happen too much. City kid, shut in. Really, I guess for the engineers it doesn't matter too much because they shouldn't be in combat Please anyway, I don't think. It, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. So we'll just kind of grab some here. You like Alicia. We have an Alicia. You hate men and fancy women. You're an interesting woman. Having men nearby triggers. Good lord. Anyway, I'll take her. Likes Alicia, why not? My name not? is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Hooray, you know your commander's a man, right? Um... Take Ramsey. So I'm many things! Uh, hey. That was awkward. Three more slots. I guess we'll just have to look at some of these Lancers. Um, I have a feeling Night Blind and Dark Sun Hater could be a problem. Quick to panic at night, meaning he's lost in accuracy when firing. We'll take Elise, even though Neat Freak. Hi, my name's Elise Moore. Nice to meet you. Your voice. Good heavens. I don't want either of them because they have Darkson hater, and I'm pretty sure what's her face is Isa? Is that her name is Darkson? Because I think they mentioned that. So I guess we'll take Jane or Jan. Hey soldier! I'm oh, Jan God. Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. He's, he's even got makeup on. Good lord, what have we done? I guess we could take Marina, and that would that would do that. So we have five scouts, we have five shock troopers, five lancers, three engineers, and one sniper. Let's take Marina. Two snipers, why not? At your command. There's probably a reason not to do that, but I don't know it, so we're doing it. There we go. That's our squad. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As okay. time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. So oh, I can get rid of some of these bad the ones. Go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. That's what you say, but They'll I don't think some of them are. The rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That's convenient. That be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Will do, Lady McLady Man. <laughs> Lady McLady wow. Man. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Folio's heading up Squad One, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now too. I'd better get a move on. There's other buttons I need to go look at. Hope it doesn't continue the story or something. Nope, it doesn't. All right. Training field. It's gonna be a really long episode. Welcome to your worst nightmare. 
I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. I'm not a blob. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learn. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. But don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? <laughs> I like how this is worded. Up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now! All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't I like this dude. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. I'm just going to level up things willy-nilly because I don't know what Train I'm doing. All you want. I've got all day. Okay. Should I just level everyone up? I could. Um. Should I? Or should I assign that and then level up like Scout I again or something? No use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Do you have a use for sweat? That's a little awkward. That's dramatic. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Hmm. What level is human? Beat a new potential out of the Lancers. So the Lancers have a new potential? Where are my Lancers at? There's a lot of potentials going on. First aid boost. Tank killer, anti-armor, tank killer, tank killer. That's actually kind of handy considering that's kind of their job, so. It takes 850 to level scout now. Actually, yeah. We'll level scout, sniper, engineer. And that will take almost all of it. I don't know if this is a good idea, but sure. Good job, team. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Seriously, what level is human? Like that session beat a new potential out of the snipers. Good. Still no potential from scouts, though, which is weird. What did they get? Nest master. I don't know what that is, but sure. Probably something about Got sniper it. nests. That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Will do, Captain. Oh. And there's one it's not actually captain. Sometimes leveling up a unit class I will unlock that. a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Order raises one ally's evasion skills. Orders are hmm. special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. I wonder how much of a difference a level makes. All that just from me working you sorry bombs into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Okay. Mm I wonder if it's like a massive increase or if it's just a little tiny change every level. I don't know. There's some well, tanks in here though. Man. What can I do you for? Some R and D. I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Are 
protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! This dude's excited. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Priest Cherny. I'm training here as a mechanic. That sounds like... Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. Bro. This so, dude's so excited. Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? Apparently DCT is for R&D, so... Making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. How convenient. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come There's in a lot of stuff going and on make here. adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. About outfitting tanks. Development work on tanks happens or der. Okay. Set size and blocks. Four by three block storage capacity. So you're not limited on optional parts, you're just limited on space for said parts. How much does this stuff cost? 500? I could do what? Nothing? Just swap to blast suits. I don't know what that is. Let's get an accuracy boost. Causes more damage, it looks like. For 500 DCT, yeah, sure. Here Seems go, alright to me. All done. Thanks, Leon. And we don't know what the next one is, so. Firepower boost. The accuracy on these things is terrible. They shoot a lot, though. I'll give them that much. Whew, it's done. This one's perfect, bro. He says bro a lot. Firepower boost on the Lancer. Snipers actually do a lot of damage. Maybe I should look at tank upgrades, too. I don't know if I get to use the tank in every mission or what. Or if I should use the tank in every mission, I'm not sure. Grenades can't be upgraded. Uniform upgrade. Defense 1. Armor upgrade, defense 1. Like, how much does one defense affect it? Let's look at the tank stuff real quick. Um... What does all of this crap? Sight upgrade. Extra accuracy, one by one block. That's expensive, holy crap. <laughs> 200 range. 30 defense. Tank stuff's expensive. 50 tread HP, 50 crit defense. We're gonna upgrade all of the infantry stuff before we do anything with the tank, I think. Here you go, I just have a lot of infantry and I feel it might be somewhat useful to fully upgrade them over the tank. And then I can spend... Should I spend excess on the tank or should I save the rest of this for upgrading infantry again? I don't know. It's done. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect, whatever. So that's all of the infantry upgrades. So I can get something like a sight upgrade. Five accuracy. I don't know if five accuracy is a whole lot. Or 200 range again. Don't know if that's a whole lot. 
30 defense sounds like a whole lot. Crit defense. Let's get a radiator upgrade, because crit defense seems like it might be useful, although, you know, not having the back pointed at stuff would help. Okay, I can put it over there. Good, good, good. And we will get the site upgrade, and we'll save the rest, since I don't think we can afford anything anyway. Yeah, it's done, whatever. And these are both one by one, so easy to fit. So they're both in there, right? Equips, there's an E, yeah. Commander, welcome! That just takes me to this, isn't it? What is all this crap? Change parts, no. I like how the accuracy on the mortar is higher than the accuracy on the cannon. It's interesting. You only get one shot with a mortar, though. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Well, sir, was that helpful? I imagine it was. We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. You had something useful yeah, this time. What's wrong soon, about? Bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Will do. I'll bring all of the DCTs, and that's it. So return to book mode. Yes. That was ages. <laughs> no matter how long this video is going to be, a new episode has been added. Headquarters tab is now available. Okay. Use experience points, funds, hurt, dur, dur, dur. So I should probably stop by every time. New destinations around the base will become available. Good to know. We've got a few cutscenes. It's very windy today. Keep looking over there, it's very windy. A few cutscenes before combat. I'm actually going to save. Because why not? I actually hadn't saved since the last time I recorded a set, so... Hooray! Go me! Hopefully nothing's wrong with this one. If there is, that might be a minor issue. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue watching these cutscenes now that we've sorted out that headquarters thing. For you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. Alright, we'll get going for now then. See you later. to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. 
It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreeze. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Skirmishes. The battles found in the skirmish tab can be played any number of times. Perfect for... Oh, hey, okay. Difficulty can be set freely. Soldiers lost during skirmishes. Oh, okay. So, yep, yeah, that's what I thought previously, where soldiers lost in battle are dead. So, we get a new skirmish battle, so I can do that to grind up some levels uh, and research money and stuff like that. It's good to know that that's actually possible and I don't have to redo stuff like this. It's crazy windy out there. I keep like, glancing to the side because it looks like my tree is trying to rip itself apart over there. Well, not my tree, but the tree next to the window. That would be Vassal, yep. Interesting map shape. Split between a city team and a riverside team. So this would be the people who like grass versus people who like roads, probably. City team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. Okay, occupy the enemy's camp. You're responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. They have tanks stationed in the city area. It'd behoove you to include an anti-tank unit. Okay. Okay, so welcome dies, 20 turns pass, all ally soldiers and reserves are killed, ooh boy. Okay, so, no, don't do that, sorry. Position units, that's what I wanted. So who's here? Someone's here. You? How do I tell? 
deployed. I guess they're auto deployed or something. So I assume Largo's right there, because that's the icon it is. So we'll get you. We'll plop you right there. So it gives us two anti tank. Do I want three anti tank and two? I could get a sniper here. That might be a terrible idea. What does he have? Meadowbrad, Night Vision, Impator. We'll put Oscar back here. He's got two anti tank. I'm gonna put a shock trooper here. There's already a shock trooper somewhere, apparently. Lancer Killer. Mm. Salinas, right there. So that gives us two anti infantry, two anti tank. We could also put a scout here, but I don't think this team's gonna move very much. Put an engineer over here. And we'll just put another shock trooper, so. Yeah, Wendy, she likes to blow things up, you'll be alright. So, how do I go back, all right? And then we go here. So we have a tank, okay. We have a tank, a scout. We have Rosie over here, I think, is who that is. Let's get another scout. Does anyone like Alicia in the scout list? You do. Country bred, bad back, camaraderie. We'll take you. So that's all slots filled. I don't even know if you need to fill all the slots, but We're prepared to commence we'll roll the with it. I look forward to good news from you. Okay. So we have our own tank. They apparently have multiple tanks. Possibly multiple tanks, I don't know. We have Lancers though, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Although one of our scouts has a bad back, but you know. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad seven, move out. Okay. Let me just hide my tank here, it'll be right. Excuse me. All right, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, City and Riverside. Hey, you've mentioned I'll this multiple times. Towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Lead the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. Will do. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. I don't know how long you've been when I just met you. Now, let's move out! <laughs> Listen closely. Okay. This information could save your life. Grant your forces a number of advantages. Units stationed near camps get a boost to their defense and to the amount of HP recovered. Okay. Ooh, tanks regain HP. Okay. There are enemy units around a camp, however. You cannot occupy it until they have been defeated. Okay, so being in our little camp over here is going to help tremendously. So let's grab our defensive force first here. Let's get them all set up into position. Uh, I could shoot with him. There's really no reason to. I just want to get him into cover. I have a sniper to use, actually. Here I come. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't know what that potential was, but sure. You can't shoot him from there. Can you shoot him from here? You should be able to. That accuracy is god awful, but. That was a lot of bullets. We may as well shoot in that kind of circumstance, so. Just easy. Let's get you. Well, hello, my lovelies. Potential fancies women. That's good to know. So we should have better accuracy, supposedly. Take this. Not that that did a whole lot of good, but hey. So that'll do for now on that side. Probably do that some more later, but for now, 
Let's start moving up our Riverside team here. Ow, ow, ow. There's someone to my right. There's also people shooting me. Sir. Sir, please. Not right now. Apparently there's someone in the grass behind us. Moderately annoying. Let's grab... Nalsir. Nalsir? Nalsir? To get rid of this dude in the grass, hopefully. In theory... Can I even hit the dude in the grass? I can, but he doesn't take much damage. Oh, because he's in the grass. He's also pretty hard to hit, apparently. I suppose that's what being in grass does. Please stop shooting me. Leave you there. Grab Alicia. Excuse me. I pushed R1 before you started shooting. And he's ducking. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. Because we're not going to kill him in this go. So. Alicia, please. I actually moved in the menu. Good job, me. Okay. We're gonna grab Rosie, I think. I'm on. Yeah, we'll grab Rosie, move Rosie up. If possible, all the way up to this barrier. About terrain actions. I know. Out of view from enemy attackers. Also, climbing a ladder can allow the unit roof access. Good to know. For right now, I don't care, because I just want to run over here. Hello! How are you? I think you fired a few extra bullets there, Rosie. And we will take the tank. Do I even need to move the tank, really? I suppose I should move the tank? Do I need to? Not lancers. I don't know how effective lancers are. But... There's a lot of sandbags up there. We'll start moving the tank. It takes two CP to move the stupid thing, but. Just run over the sandbags. Right. Um. Can I fire the machine gun at this guy? I guess I can. Let's do that. Hopefully this hits. There we go. So that is that side done. The other side's purely defense. I didn't use my sniper and he's kind of standing in the open, but... One of the lancers is also standing in the open, but both of the shock troopers are set up. We should be hopefully all right. You know, I just realized, tanks can't actually get down here because it's... He's gonna shoot the guy standing up, logically. Because it's blocked by alleyways, so... I guess that team will be pushing out? At least the Lancers will be pushing out. I thought they could get to the base, but I guess they can't. So I wanna kill him. He's throwing a grenade! Uh-oh. Ow. Kind of hurt, to be honest. <laughs> Just gonna point that out. Hopefully they don't throw too many grenades. They're blowing up my cover. Very rude. That was... That's a... Okay. Good job, AI. <laughs> I'm proud of you. This is the guy that was defending their base. Come on, tank. You have a machine gun. Shoot it at the dude. Who's not gonna fire back, apparently. Oh, here he goes. Oh, there's the tank. <laughs> you probably should have just stopped where you were, dude. Probably wouldn't have used the tank on you if you had. CB symbols displayed beside the names. Those are leaders, not aces, sorry. In Squad 7, Alicia is one such leader. They'll each add one CP to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. Hmm. Okay.
had to sneeze there. Oh, come on. Just one shot off. Could have got the kill there, but... Oh, well, we'll get the kill on the counter anyway. I forgot about that. You guys shoot a lot, you shock troopers. Righty-ho! Player phase, go! About orders. Push triangle, some orders affect all units. Leveling up your unit classes on the training field. I only have the boost evasion order, don't I? Yeah, it costs one CP to raise one ally's evasion. I don't think that's actually worth it. What I do think, however, is that killing... You didn't take any damage? Oh, you healed because you're in a base, that's right. What I do think is that this guy needs to die, so there we go. Got several crits there, and then we're going to start moving up. Excuse me. Don't tell me about enemy counter offensives. You can just stand right there. I wish that was covered, but it's not. So... Reserves 12. So bases, you can actually pull reserves from bases. Alright, cool. Go ahead and move you up. I want these people in, whoops, in position basically to advance on the enemy here shortly. Ow. Sir, you're very rude. I'll have you know. So shock troopers are really tanky. I just want to point that out. I actually don't want you to go out after, out past the corner quite yet. So you guys can chill there for a bit. I will take Ready for you, who's crouching. Stand up, run this way, Scout Fan McGee. Run faster. Don't pass up a chance to attack. Enemy spotted. Okay, there's a tank. So ladder over here. Hmm, okay. We'll just wait here in for an action. So there's a tank up there. Very angry tank. Which I presume is the Idlewise's job to deal with. So let's go ahead and start moving you up. Hopefully we can get to this corner and get a shot off before our AP is out. It's looking unlikely. Oh uh, no, it's possible. Do we have a shot? We do, I think. Not much of a shot. I hit the tree. Okay, so, well. All right, well, there's a tree there. It's fine. So really, I want my lancers up too. Over you go. Well, I don't think you needed to because there was nothing next to you, but whatever. Now, can we see the tank from here? I think so, but I doubt we'll be able to hit it. We may as well take a shot at it. Should I? Yeah, we'll take a shot at the tank, see if we hit it. We hit something. We hit that dude's sandbag as well. That's less sandbags that he has to defend himself, so I guess we could try and kill him. Oscar's done nothing this whole time. Good job, Oscar. Let's get Rosie moved up. And I guess we'll take a second action with the tank. I like the little, like, cartoon-style, like, sound effect text. Can you... No. No, don't shoot in. There we go. Hit the wrong button. And we'll take a second action with the tank. They have an engineer back there. Here we go. One tank that I can see. Hello, don't shoot him with the cannon. Shoot the tank. I guess I'll just shoot it somewhere in the main body. Why not? I wonder if their tanks have anti-armor. Or if that's just a my tank thing right now, if those are just scout tanks. 
Or light tanks is what they are, but... So the tank is going to move up. It's going to break sandbags, because why not? What is it doing? There it goes. Behaving a little weirdly. Like when it, run, it runs over stuff, it gets confused. Ouch. Yeah, so their tanks do a, a reasonable amount of damage. There's another tank over here, because it's making vroom sounds. Oh, okay. Ah, damn tanks busted right through the stinking wall. Well, it's my turn now. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Stay sharp. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees. I didn't know it was going to burst through the wall. What's it shooting at? Mortar to him, yeah. It's a pretty good choice. Kind of hurt a little bit. Although, it may have positioned itself such that I can actually get Lancers behind it. Although I may lose someone here. Nah, Salinas is fine. We're going to have to possibly move him somewhere. There's a lot of angry men around that base. A lot of angry men about ammunition. Yes, I've noticed this. I know how ammo works. Excuse me. Full capacity each turn, alright. Every ally and engineer makes contact with will be restocked to full capacity. Okay. So engineers just have to touch people. It's good to know. We, however, are going to take Largo. Can the tank shoot at us? Hopefully not. Someone else can. Don't really care. I want to do this. There you go. That was my plan. It worked much better than I anticipated. I thought it was going to take multiple shots, but it didn't. So I only really needed the one Lancer. So Lancer duty's done. I don't think we can get him to reinforce the other tank anytime soon. Let's grab Wendy. She wants to murder people. As you do. Hello. Apparently there's a shock trooper. Oh yeah, that one. Makes sense. You, however, you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> you could stop shooting when they fall over, you know. End her turn. Tempted to use her again, but first we're gonna take the tank. How much is... It takes two more shots to kill their tank. They have no shock troopers. Entering combat. Or what I can try to do... So I can get behind their tank. Let's do that. Let's employ the get behind enemy tank tactic. It's gonna put my weak point facing an enemy though, which is a problem. But if I hit where I'm aiming, their tank is dead. There we go. And now we have a tank in the middle of a bunch of angry men with guns. Which I could continue to use, I could fire a mortar, I could probably kill nobody with that. Or I could grab Wendy here. I wonder. Let's take Oscar, we haven't used him, may as well see what's up. What kind of firing range does he have here? Zoom. Pretty good firing range. Let's move him up more. What is that tank? What is what? It's a tank. It's an Idlewise. Let's see if we can get this guy here. We get three shots with a sniper. Only one to kill if it's a headshot, so. Oh, Oscar, you disappointed me. Could take him again. Or I could take Wendy. Um. We'll take the sniper again, move up a little bit more, just get him in position, why not? I think I moved up a little bit too much. Oh, for God's sake, Oscar. You're disappointing me. 
I want you to murder things for me. You're not doing so. Let's get you. The sniper's disappointing me, so. Hello. I would like you to stop shooting my tank in the back. Thank you. Much appreciated. I wonder if I should get on the roof. Let's see if we can get on the roof with Nase here. Climb. Oh. Hello. Man, I wish I could shoot you. Uh. We'll end it technically behind cover, so he doesn't have line of sight. He knows I'm here, though, so it's kind of an irrelevant notion. Sick, the Idlewise. Where can I fire this thing? Need back up. I can't back up, can I? Oh, here we go. I can back up. We're good. It was rotating when I was trying to last time, so... Let's go ahead and fire our mortar. Why not? Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty effective. Killed you. We killed both of them, actually, so... Just gonna go ahead and drive our tank over here. Don't mind me. Alright. In turn. Ends our phase. And there's not many left, so it may end in this phase. Who knows? The tank may kill everyone. Nope, he's he's intelligently going to not move. Probably the best decision. Ooh, a headshot. He could have done considering this. Oh nope, tank got a few shots in. I think not much. Ow. What if you get an accuracy bonus for height? Doesn't look like there's any anything going on there. Almost dead just from that, so. She's getting a lot of shots at her. It's a good thing she's ducking. Crouching, I should say. She's do she's doing a lot of work. I like Wendy. Wendy's good. You're running out of leaders, enemy. I have one more. It's gonna be the guy on the roof again, who's going to get himself killed. For nothing. Good job, Wendy. She's killed a billion people so far. I think Wendy is single handedly doing that entire front because our <laughs> sniper can't aim worth a crap. Turns out, aiming is hard. I could use the idle lice. Let's take Wendy, who is now fully healed. Over you go, Wendy. Hut, 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 hut. Hello. I don't actually want to shoot at you. Can I shoot the guy behind you? No. We have to shoot him. Get shot. There you go. The only one left is that man right there. I wonder if this is considered a good rank. Probably not. Could have Wendy kill it. Let's have... The idle lice try for it. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, it takes seven to kill. Let's get a little bit closer, shall we? Hello. I can't actually aim that low, so I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. Hello. It takes more shots to kill than this thing fires. What kind of crappy machine gun is that? doesn't matter when I'm at point blank and get a headshot, so... Now we need to capture it, which I presume a tank can't do, so we'll grab... our ever-trustworthy Wendy here. Jump over. And capture. How close do I have to be? Occupy. There you go. Good job, team. That was an F rank, because I took a billion turns to do it. I don't know, it seemed alright to me. Complete. We, took their base. we almost lost someone. C rank, apparently. Tons of experience and stuff from these missions is actually kind of ridiculous. So many experience point foods. 
So many cutscene point foods. chance are you yes that's us <laughs> bingo I've been looking for you meaning you hot stuff on the tank me mm -hmm. um excuse me I that must uh, make you lieutenant Gunther am I right um yeah yes that's me see Daisy what <sighs> hey you can't oh, nice to meet you too now let's get right to the questions so, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh... <sighs> Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please, he's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst. The Personnel tab, the Weaponry tab, Glossary tab, so many tabs. These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, things in the world, herp to der. Automatically updated. Okay. Castlefront Street is now available. The War Cemetery. So many things. Good heavens. Stuff has occurred. However, that'll be it for this set. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Chapter 4, I believe is what we're on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.